Hi guys, today I have a how to put on a wig. And I wanna say this is personal. There's different techniques on how to apply wigs, how to put wig caps. Some people glue them down, some people don't. I personally do not glue anything down. I have worn wigs to different like family events and stuff like that and I've had no issue. I have never had a wig fall off. I apply them the same way that Angelique does or Candy Lover. I basically just put on a wig cap, pull my head forward, pop it in, and then kind of situate it. And I'm gonna do that with you guys today. You can find a ton, a plethora of different videos showing different techniques. I have mid-length hair, so my hair comes around here, and I do have thin hair. So if I was to grab all my hair together, you can see there, like I do have pretty thin hair, and this just works for me. And it's gonna be super personal. It's gonna depend on your hair length, what kind of type of hair you have, if you have thicker hair. Some people do like French braids or braid it or wrap it around with um, like what we call in Puerto Rico a doobie, which is like using bobby pins to like wrap it around. It just depends on you. I try to distribute my hair inside of the wig cap uh, just in the back so it's not like bundled up together. And basically what I do is my hair is, is freshly washed and it doesn't necessarily have to be freshly washed. It just happens to be that today I washed it and it's air drying. So basically what I do is I put on the wig cap and then I take all of my hair and then I start shoving it in the wig cap. So I'm just pushing it in and bringing it down and I try to evenly distribute it so that it's not like clumped in just one area so that it's not like a big chichong or like a big knot in one area and so I'm just going to keep pushing all the hair in so I don't do anything super fancy or anything like that I know that she also does it like this and that's just gonna depend. Some people leave their ears out. A lot of times I just feel more comfortable with my ears kind of pinned inside of the wig cap. It just depends on you. It depends on like also the wig that I'm using. Um, but that's what it's gonna look like. And this is what it looks like in the back. As you can see, I do have thin hair, so it's not like I have a huge bump in there. If you had bigger, thicker hair, you're gonna wanna distribute it better around here so that way it, la it lays more flat and so the back of the wig doesn't like raise up so now that i have the little cap on i like to push it back just a little bit so you can see my hairline just the tiniest bit she does sell wig grips and there are going there are ones that are like uh, velvet to help just like put it in place uh, I do have wig grips sometimes I do wear them it just kind of helps like secure it in place um, so today I'm gonna be using this purple wig this one is called Maxima and is from the candy lover wig line I love her wigs I have a crap ton of them I even have a video showing me trying them all on if you're interested in that I just ordered a new one that's black and pink I'm so excited for that one to come I love having just like the uh, you know just a, a good variety whether it be fun colors like this to I have a few more natural colors so inside of the wig cap, there is little clips inside of here. So these are like little, I guess you would say like little, what is it called? Like evillas, like a, like kind of like a little bobby pin. So this is what you're gonna have in here. And most of them have this. So you have two in the front for here on the sides and then you have a big one here in the back. So that one's really big in the back. Likewise, they also have these little straps. They're kind of like little bra straps here on the inside and it's adjustable. So if you have a smaller head, you can put a little tighter or you can loosen it depending on the size of your head. For the most part, I um, just use the the first little grip that it comes I don't really like mess around with it too much I feel like I have an average size head so I just use it in the first little slot here but if you wanted it tighter you could put it closer and closer to get this to be tighter around your head let me grab the wig the wig grip so you guys can see what that is 
Okay, so there are different types of wig grips. I have this one from Amazon and this one is like a velvet material. I will have it in my Amazon store. I think I have most of my stuff under wigs if you're interested. And basically you wrap this around and Velcro it. And what it does is just kind of grip your wig into place. Angelique's Candy Lover, she sells this one. I really like this one. I feel like this one's a lot better and firm and it really holds it in place. This one has little grips here, little silicone grips. And basically what it does is hold your wig in place. This one is not size adjustable it's just elastic so if you have a bigger head it might be uncomfortable you might have to stretch it out a little bit a few times before wearing it all the time this one's more adjustable but out of both of them I feel like this one grips the wig a lot better so if you're scared of your wig moving around or going into place or stuff like that then you might want to get a wig grip I did see that Candy Lover in her last live this week, she showed a new wig cap that she's making that is kind of like a wig cap and it has the Velcro edge here to kind of hold the wig in place. So I thought that that was really cool. Whenever she comes out with those, I will buy one and review it for you guys. But um, yeah, so those are additional steps if you want to just hold your wig uh, more in place or you're scared of it moving or you're going to be somewhere too windy or anything of that nature. So I usually brush out my wigs a little bit. I have one of these wig brushes. As you can see there, it's kind of like the same little metals and it's open and it just makes easy to brush your wig. And I, when I store them, I also kind of store them the way she does. I kind of just fold it and then twist it and then put it in its individual bag. And that's how I store my wigs are actually in these little silk bags and you can actually buy them off of Amazon as well. Uh, for each one that you buy, you get one bag in each order. So sometimes I buy each order individually so that way each wig will have its bag, but you can find them on Amazon as well. Okay, so <laughs> the actual applying of the wig, I hold the wig like this. So this is the front part and I hold it like this, like as if I'm going to just stick my head in it. I do hold on to this um, Evija, this clip that's on here, and this is what I'm going to fold into this part of my neck. So in the nape, nape of my neck, I always put this one in and it just kind of secures in the back. So I'm gonna take off my microphone. The quality of the audio is gonna change a little bit, but I really wanna show you guys how I do it. So basically the wig is like this. So this is the way it goes on. So I'm gonna flip it this way and I'm just going to dip my hair into there and then clip this on the back. So I'm gonna put my hair in, my head into the wig and then this clip right here, I'm just going to secure it on the back. So this is what it looks like right now without any adjusting or anything like that. I look a little crazy. <laughs> but basically it's secure already in the back of my head. Let me go ahead and put on my microphone so I don't sound weird. Now what I do is obviously my forehead starts here. You want to just play with it, adjust it to your forehead. So I take the side clips. So for example, I feel it here. This is the side clip right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So this is the little side clip. And what I do is I pin my hair to it underneath it. So that's just securing it in place here on the side. And it's nice and snug over there. I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit so it looks a little better on my forehead. And that's my natural hairline that you guys are seeing peeking there. So, Next thing I do is do the other side now that I've accommodated it a little bit. And same thing, I'm gonna grab that side clip that's right here and then just pin it into my hair. And that's just going to secure the wig into place. I already kind of combed it out before applying it so it's pretty combed out. And then that's basically all I do. And then I just kind of brush it 
down or if I'm gonna you know style it or anything that's when I go ahead and just make it fit to my face another thing that you can do if you want to like hold down these sides is put bobby pins through here so you can put a little bobby pin here to extra secure it and it's going to be hidden by the other hair and likewise on the other side I don't feel the need for that sometimes it just depends on the wig and how it's fitting on my head but this one is pretty secure and it's on and yeah, I think I'm pretty much happy with the way it looks, the way it's sitting on my head. And we have Miss Maxima on. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful. I hope that somebody can get a little something from this or if you're scared to try wigs, maybe this is a good way of learning to finally put one on. I don't ever glue them down. Like I said, I just feel like it's unnecessary for me. I mainly use my wigs to film with. I have gone to certain like family events with them on. I don't ever go out and about a lot with them um, just because I don't know, sometimes they can get a little hot, sometimes they can get a little itchy. It just depends on the day. And here in Florida, sometimes we have like super hot, humid heat. And I'm just somebody who needs to be able to breathe. My head needs to breathe. But I love the fun of taking pictures with them. I love the fun of like changing up my hairstyle. Uh, so it just is going to depend on yourself, on your body chemistry, whether you're going to be itchy underneath here, whether it's going to be hot. You might want to try one wig and then go from there and see if it's something for you. But I absolutely love her wigs. I feel like they are just really, really great quality. Before her wigs, I did try quite a few Amazon ones and they were a lot of fun. But hers here, especially on the like hairlines and stuff, I feel like they look a lot better than a lot of the Amazon ones. A lot of the Amazon ones here in the front are super thick and look very unrealistic. A lot of people feel like um, sometimes the wigs look like almost balding in the front, especially if they're a free part. But your hair naturally isn't thick from like start to finish. Your hair like has different little bald spots and like are thinner in certain areas and likewise the wigs try to imitate that if that makes sense uh, let me know if you have any questions down below i hope this was helpful especially for the person who requ requested this video about how to apply a wig and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing hit like if this was helpful to you and if you want any kind of other wig video leave it down below and i will try to get to it i've been adding all your requests to my little list and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys